Okay, well, none of you guys have been um, on this study. So uh, we've been talking about culture lies. Um, the one, if I remember correctly, the one last week was um, discover yourself or believe in yourself. Th th those might have been two different weeks. And uh, we looked at um, oh, perfect time to have a brain fart. Uh, and so the one we're looking at tonight is be true to yourself. And so how we do this is we just look at a couple verses that are relevant to the topic. And then we'll kind of talk about the topic itself, and then we'll look at the solution to the problem. So, uh, this one is Psalm 51 5 says, Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. So, if we're talking about be true to yourself, we have to ask the question of what about morality? What about changing? What about learning? Um, what am I being true to? Uh, this is from Ephesians 2 3. Among them, we too all formerly lived in the lusts of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And we're by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. So this once again gives the idea of not being true to yourself, but allowing God to change you. And then in, uh, ooh, I actually think this might be, um, ooh, I didn't write down the scripture reference for this one. I think this one might be um, Colossians or, no, no, this has got to be Corinthians. This has got to be Corinthians. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit, inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. <clears throat> <laughs> do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. So I guess Eli and Isaiah are not making it. <laughs> hey, just because I want to pee straight. <laughs> I like how that's the one you chose. <laughs> I didn't specify which thing I was pointing to. If you thought I was talking about homosexuality, that's that you were reading that, into it. That seems like some guilt over here. <laughs> Maybe you should just repent for your gay behavior. Maybe I should. Yeah, so when we ask the question, you know, people tell us to be true to ourselves in the culture. The question becomes, what, what what does that really mean? A lot of these cultural lies that we hear, when we've looked at this almost every single week for a while. People say without really knowing what it means. You are worthy. That's one of the ones we looked at uh, from before. What does that mean? You are worthy of what? To do what? What are we worthy of? So when you say be true to yourself, the question comes, which version of yourself? See, we change over time, over the period of time. Even God out of the equation, we still change. And we should. We should be people who change. We shouldn't be doing the same things. I mean, think of it like this. When you were two, you pooped your pants. Well, you don't do that anymore. You changed. You know, and that's a good thing. That's just a natural part of growing up. You start seeing things differently, doing things differently. And uh, so that's a good thing. Um, whether we are Christians or not, we're still going to be changing, and we should be changing. So uh, also we, we should be willing to change. I, I mean, I feel like I should throw that out. So the question then it, it keeps repeating itself. Which version of ourself are we supposed to be true to? And which aspect of ourself, our moral self, our physical self, our, our mental self, our emotional self, what, which part of ourself? And that's part of the big problem is it's just undefined. It's an undefined um, lie. Be true to yourself. When it's like, no, you shouldn't be true to yourself. You should change. Um, and then the second point that I want to point out to this whole be true to yourself is we are more than our decisions. So be true to yourself, okay, but there's more to us than simply our decisions. So if it's just, oh, don't let people you know, govern your life. You have to be true to yourself. It's like, well, um, but there's more to me than just the decisions that I make. And then the last thing that's worth mentioning is don't pretend to be someone else. So sometimes we try to put on an air to make people think that we're more righteous than we are, uh, more holy than we are, more Christian, more whatever. And so that is one aspect of being true to yourself that I can say ha has a little bit of merit to it. Like you shouldn't pretend to be something that you're not just so that people will think something else. Like, oh, I'm going to try out for this pastor position. I want people to think that I'm really smart. So I'm going to memorize a bunch of really big words. Like, that's just stupid. Like, because that's not really who I am. You you, you don't pretend to be someone. Be, be who you really are. But then also allow that who you really are to be changed and, and grow and mature. So the solution to the, to the lie of be true to yourself is very simple. It's from Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So instead of staying true to ourself, the, the, I think the better course, of, uh, course that we see from the Bible is stay true to God. Learn, grow, change, don't remain toxic, and be true to God. Everybody wants to talk about, you know, oh, this is toxic and that's toxic. But, but the thing is, 
a lot of times we are the toxic ones. Maybe we're not in a place of accepting what somebody's trying to tell us because we're just in a place of being toxic ourselves. Maybe uh, we need to change and learn and grow in those sort of things. But we always want to point out other people's mis misgivings or whatever. And, and the truth is we, we really need to change. So um, we will be done. With, this is the final night of yams. And I just have a few final notes uh, since this is the last lesson uh, we'll be doing. Um, so don't next week there's don't don't bother coming i mean there's nothing here i won't even be here the house will be empty so uh some more things we could have we could have talked about um had we had more time is uh the culture that we live in it's not just about these individual lies it's their it's their mindset in total they have this idea that you have to go from hot topic to hot to hot topic, caring about thing and caring about thing, and so they keep telling you every week or every other week all these things you're supposed to care a whole lot about, and if you don't care, you're either transphobic or homo homo uh, homophobic or uh, unwoke or you know uh, a moron or whatever. And the thing is, if you really genuinely try to care care about every single new topic, you're just gonna wear yourself out. You're gonna be so emotionally tired, mentally tired. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be draining. So. You can't really change all those things anyways. Let's pretend like the whole world is against homosexuals. They have it worse than anybody else in the whole world. Black people, handicapped people, it doesn't matter. Homosexuals have it worse than everybody. Okay, let's just say that. The problem then becomes what can you honestly do to change about it? Well, nothing. So you worry yourself out trying to be more woke so that you can be accepted by a culture that doesn't accept you anyways. Because a lot of the times the claims of the Bible are just so separate from our, what our culture believes. And another thing is those hot topics that they tell us that we have to care about, they aren't really based on anything uh, except for somebody's opinion for the day. And they demand this obedience. It just wears you out. We could also talk about the whole um, culture lie of I am a champion. Well, I think that's human nature. We like to see ourselves as the heroes in every in every situation. I think that's why a lot of those videos on YouTube and stuff appeal to us is because they sit around telling us how great we are and that – that's something we already want to believe. Like, yeah, I'm great. Like, I don't need to change. You all need to change. I am a champion. I can rise above. I can, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and, I mean, it's normal to have these things that go through our head, but the problem is when you take what's normal in your head, and then you try and interpret the Bible through those lens. So, I am a champion. Therefore, I'm going to take Philippians where it says, I can do all things through Christ and make it somehow revolve around me being a champion, rising above my exercise or whatever. And th there's just so much more at stake than our ego um, in the Bible. Um, so we see ourselves as a hero, uh, but the problem is we always disappoint ourselves eventually. We, we mess up. We aren't as great as we thought we were. Um, and, and things come by that we can't handle. Uh, and, and so I have to say that the end of all these things, all these cultural lies, all these different things that, that we've been looking at is, be humble and trust in God. There, there's there comes a point when as long as you're as long as you're seeking God and you're humble, God's going to reject the proud person. But the person who comes to God with humility, He's going to be able to work and then teach them, you know, move them forward in the faith. But the person who thinks that they have it all together, they're just not going to get it. The person who thinks I don't need to change, you're not going to get it. But when we when we allow ourselves to just be humble, um, we allow ourselves to be told something. Um, so the the very final thing as I as I looked at the last. Uh, 10 or so years uh, of Yam's lessons. I, I looked over them and I tried to kind of summarize everything that we've looked at over those past 10 years and I came up with this very short paragraph. How do you know what you should do? Trust God, pray, read your Bible, go to church. That is the easiest way I can summarize 10 years of lessons. All good things come to an end. Any questions on that?